friends, it's me. And my high school bully, he likes me. Today we're watching a true story animation. I absolutely hated Jonathan. He was one of those arrogant rich kids that got a $30,000 car for their 16th birthday and didn't respect anyone. Wait, so this is Trixie Tang all grown up? One day, I had forgotten to use deodorant and he screamed, oh look everyone, Samantha is sweating like a pig. Can someone get a towel? <laughs> Bro, you take one look at this dude, he got red eyes. He's a demon. A spawn of Satan. What do you want him to be, nice? Okay, but that's just straight up rude. But when people say things like that, like that makes you so self-conscious and that follows you throughout your life. Just that one comment that somebody made in high school about something you can't control. Oh, my pits, they be sweating. And somebody notices and is gonna like call you out on it. It's like what Billie Eilish said. If they knew what they said, it would go straight to my head. What would they say in Instead. <laughs> okay, but that's facts. He took it even further when I practiced for our school musical. While I sang my part, he grabbed another microphone and said, Samantha, stop. Your voice makes my ears bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Who let the spawn of Satan on stage? He ain't even got jokes, man. Samantha, your voice makes my ears bleed. Literally no one laughs. I wanted to strangle him, but gosh, he was also kind of cute and handsome. What? Bro, this dude is hardcore picking on you, making fun of you, trying to ruin your life. Okay, I had one of those in high school. And then he ended up liking me. But I hated this guy. I despised him. Like, guys, why why do you do this? Why do you be so mean to the girl that you like? But in this case, Samantha likes him. So maybe I even had a small crush on him. But of course, Jonathan didn't know anything about it. But then something crazy happened. A girl inside my school accused me of sleeping with her boyfriend, Pedro. What? Where did this come from? You got the wrong girl, ma'am. She's just walking up to random girls like, Did you sleep with my man's Pedro? What? I don't even know a Pedro. But Pedro and I have been best friends since kindergarten. I loved him as a friend and nothing more. But this girl didn't believe me and had some serious anger issues. So one day, she and one of her stupid friends pulled me to the side of our gymnasium. There, one of them held me while the other one took my school stuff, ripped up my papers, and poured a bottle of soda over it. No! The backpack and all its contents are ruined. You guys are the true demons. Months of schoolwork was ruined. Wait, how you got months of schoolwork in your bag? They also wanted to physically beat me up. But right before the one girl punched me, someone screamed, Stop! We all looked to the right, and it was Jonathan. He said, Don't touch her, I will beat the crap out of you. Oh! Jonathan, bully Samantha. Girls, bully Samantha. Jonathan, that's illegal. Only I can bully Samantha. Go get your own victim, you harlots. The girls let go of me and attempted to walk away. But Jonathan said, no, you're going to stay here. If you don't make up for the damage you've caused, then I'm going to tell the principal what you've done. The girl said, no one is going to believe you anyway, and turned around. But that's when Jonathan grabbed her by her hair, pushed her to the ground, and said, we're going to see what the police is going to say. Oh! you a man like Jonathan. Not only does he have your back, but he got the back of her weave. Ooh, Ooh. yes. All those months of getting bullied finally paid off. He used his feet to keep her on the ground while calling the police. It took them 30 minutes to arrive and our principal was there too. Whoa, Officer Jenny, is that you? He decided to suspend the girl that tried to beat me up from our school. And after all of them had left, I said to Jonathan, thank you for rescuing me. He responded, oh, no worries. It was kind of fun. And I said, as much as I hate you, I always thought you were kind of cute. So I forgive you for how you treated me before. He laughed and said, oh, Jesus, are you trying to flirt with me? You're terrible at it. <laughs> wow. Bad don't even like you. You're just the easy target. But my easy target. They can't just snatch you away from me like that. A true love story. I blushed like crazy and felt like an idiot. But then he said, oh, don't worry. I'm just joking. And I have to admit that you're kind of cute too. But of course, not as cute as me. Okay, you know what? This is pretty cute. I, I ship them. As in, let's put them on a ship and take them far, far away. I'm sitting here thinking, how does she not get dress coded? You see what she's wearing? If I even walk into my school with like just the forbidden skin, shoulder skin, skin suspended but she got the whole ah, double shoulder off the shoulder look going on and nobody's gonna say nothing i don't know why but after the incident i couldn't stop thinking about jonathan so i came up with a plan to spend more time with him i said jonathan i'm scared that this girl will wait for me outside school and try to hurt me so jonathan of course offered to accompany me on my way home or you could have just not wore deodorant and do the stretch like mm, you smell that smell 
separate. And when we arrived in front of my house, I asked, do you want to watch a movie? He responded, eh, okay. And then we watched La La Land. I was desperate to make out with him right then and there. But I controlled myself and waited because I didn't want him to think I was easy to have. What a dumb movie choice. You really think this dude is gonna be into a La La Land? Nothing gets this dude going like seeing Thanos snap. And four dates later, he finally made out. And now, we're a super cute couple. <laughs> we're super cute. Hey, <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Alright guys, it's 2020. If you're bullying somebody, that means you like them. I mean, honestly, looking back, it kind of was like that in high school. I always thought guys didn't like me, but it was the ones that bullied me, that would always make fun of me, always roast me. Those are the ones that actually liked me. And it's like, I didn't find that out until later, and now I'm just like realizing things. Yo, I thought 2018 was the year of realizing things, but no, it's 2020. Yeah, so those dudes, it's funny because a couple of them sent me unsolicited photos, and I was just like, Ugh. but I didn't like any of them. They were all at most my male acquaintances that I had classes with, but I mean, they were so mean to me. That was not a turn on. You gotta be like a 10 out of 10 for that. <laughs> Hi, my name's Maya. Hi, Maya. And I want to tell you about the time I made the biggest mistake of my life. Ugh. <laughs> The biggest mistake was not giving you any eye whites. My dad died when I was little, and it took my mom years to start dating again. Aw, oh, top 10 saddest anime backstories. Rest in peace, Maya's dad. Boy, he was only 30 years old! She said that I was all she needed to be happy, but I always knew life would be better for her if she had a boyfriend. That's why I was stoked when she started dating Aaron. He treated my mom the way she deserved, and always bought her flowers and took her out to dinner. Wow, imagine if finding someone was that easy, like just, oh, I'm on my way to the supermarket. <laughs> <gasps> Wham bam yes ma'am soulmate Found. You can't imagine how excited I was when he proposed and my mom said yes. I mean, I loved being a bridesmaid and I'll never forget how beautiful my mom looked on her wedding day. But there was one problem though. Aaron's son, Jared, he was so freaking gorgeous. It was as if he just came out of a movie and Jared wasn't just good looking. He was also a really nice person. No! Don't do it! You horrible, horrible child! You horrible, horrible girl. How could you do this to your mother? No! I know exactly where this is going. Let me tell you, right down the path of demonetization. Just kidding. Girl, come on. Please let your mother be happy with her newfound man. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> I want him for myself. <sighs> I don't want to watch the rest of this, but we're gonna have to. And even though he was a couple years older than me, he'd always say hi to me at school and carry my books when we walked home together. In fact, Jared was that guy. You know, the one boy in school everyone likes. That's why, after me and my mom moved into his house, all my friends got super jealous of me because I got to hang out with him all the time. Wait, 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 what? Let me get this straight. Mother is dating a high school student that goes to the same school as her daughter. I mean, even if he was in college that's still weird you guys are going to the same school that's illegal what is he doing with her mom and then they all move to his house what he's like 18 19 and has his own house or y'all moving in with his parents like hello mother father here is my new wife and her daughter which is by the way the same age as me can, can they move in my two best friends even tried to contact him on facebook but he just completely ignored them what this dude must be 10 out of 10 rich, smart, funny, handsome, ambitious, young, and a big heart. Of course, I had a huge crush on him. I mean, who wouldn't? But after a while, I began to think that he felt the same way about me. I mean, there was no other reason why he'd be so nice to me. But if he liked me, why wouldn't he tell me so? I thought he was just too shy, and that's why I decided to make the first move. I waited until our parents left the house to go on a date night, and then I asked Jared if he wanted to watch a movie with me. Oh my god, you know what? This whole time, <laughs> it looks so similar. Now I feel like the biggest fool because that's his son. It's the guy's son. I thought this whole time that she was trying to get her mom's man's and I was so confused, but it's her mom's man's son. Bro, that's your brother-in-law, so it's like, it is kind of weird. I don't remember what movie we watched, but as we ate the popcorn, our hands kept touching each other. Stop! Oh, you keep taking the buttery pieces. Stop. I knew I had to do something, so I just turned to him and kissed him. I can still remember his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the worst thing you could have done besides take his popcorn. Oh man, he's terrified like 
What is you doing? You're literally my sister. He immediately pushed me away, telling me to get off. And when I tried to explain that I thought he liked me, he laughed and said I was just a silly little girl. He also said he'd only been nice to me because his dad asked him to, but he'd never be interested in a 14-year-old girl like me. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's horrible. What are you doing? I'm assuming he's like a senior and she's a freshman. That's illegal. Literally. Yeah, I would have pushed her off too. Been like, no FBI, not today. Girl, you 14, you barely just learned how babies are made. What are you doing? Kissing this dude. I've never felt more ashamed in my life and I felt like I had ruined everything. Luckily for me, Jared didn't tell anyone what I'd done, but still, things were never the same between us. When we were on our own in the house, we both stayed in our rooms avoiding each other and even stopped saying hi to me at school. The worst part was that we lived in the same house, so I couldn't just avoid him. That's why every time I saw him, I remembered what an idiot I'd been. Man, this sucks. This is kind of relatable. I really liked this guy in middle school, and like one time, just so embarrassing by the way, I would be canceled in 2020 for doing this, and like I went to him after school, and I ran on him, and I jumped on him, and I hugged him, and then he was just like, like, oh, like, no, like, get off. And I was just like, no, stop. Like, I like you. I really like you. Because his cousin told me to tell him that I like him. And I told him, and he was just like, oh, like, not having it. And this is so embarrassing. I totally feel this, girl. Man, it sucks to suck. Don't it? I wish I'd never try to kiss my own stepbrother. Have you ever fallen in love with the wrong person? Tell us your story in the comments and share this video with all your friends. No, share this video with all your friends and tell me, have you fallen in love with somebody who didn't like you back? I feel like that's everybody. You only like people who don't like you back. That's laws of the land. Like if relatable. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more animation videos, make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And Subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.